Okay, Brad Goreski from the Fashion Police is joining us. You're going to be honoring Jeannie tonight with her award. How does that make you feel? Um, incredible. I mean, I've, I've looked up to Jeannie Becker for many, many years now. And, um, you know, to call her a friend and to get to be a part of this amazing evening, um, I'm so touched and I, I'm really excited to be able to tell my story of how much impact she's had on my, on my career. She gave us that front row access before anybody else was doing it and did it with such passion and conviction and so much knowledge. And, uh, you know, that was all the beginning for me of believing that I could too be there one day. Oh, I'm just so proud. Judy's such a role model for Canadian women, has been. Just, just pushing on, pushing on, getting us to understand fashion, encouraging young designers, getting the fashion industry in Canada, meaning something, and getting us all out of tweeds and sweater sets. <laughs> How does it feel about receiving this honor? Oh, it just, it, you know, it's so special, especially, you know, doing it uh, in this country, in this city, my parents emigrated here uh, back in 1948. They arrived in Halifax at Pier 21, absolutely penniless with nothing at all. Came to Canada, didn't speak a word of English. My dad started a little slipper factory at 317 Adelaide Street West, which is the address of Canada's Walk of Fame. When I was a little girl, every year on my birthday cake, I wish to be famous. That's all I wanted. I wanted my own TV show and I wanted to be famous. And then when that chapter ended 27 years later, I realized, well, I have become a household name, but more importantly, I realized that I had resonated with people. I was able to perhaps inspire them. I touched them, people uh, uh, not only from coast to coast, but really all over the world because our show is on in 130 countries. So yeah, a lot of serendipity and a lot of things coming full circle for me.